So basically, I will do a small punk rock again stand-up show for you and telling a bit of my story. So basically, my name is Stanislav Glazov, and I was teaching in art school. That was my diploma arbeit, diploma work. So I'm, I'm a blacksmith from profession originally. But uh, then uh, in, uh, let's say, 1996, I first met computer graphics at Golden Saint. And since there, I start working on different projects. So uh, before I go to my story, I want to tell a bit. Currently, I represent the how to touch school. And my talk is about 10 years of building the academic education for touch designer community. Uh, one question for the people here who was participating in my courses, please. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that was inspiring me my, all my life. So basically, OK, uh, next thing, I want to make a short paraphrase of one American classic. We are do not only the touch designer platform. We try to teach pipelines. And uh, basically, uh, before I go to the full story of my courses, I want to tell we are open to any of artists and developers and researchers to participate in our project. So I'm open, write me. OK, so my story short. In 1997, I started to work in computer graphics. Uh, 2001, I started teaching Maya in Moscow real-time school. In 2004, I started working in Goudini, and in 2008, I made my first Goudini course. 2009, I launched first platform called Goudini How To, which was uh, only on Russian, and made around five courses about Goudini. Then, uh, 2010, I started uh, working with audiovisual art and first heard about touch designer from one friend who was in Canada and bought the first Russian license. Then, uh, 2012, I held the first touch designer masterclass in Moscow for CG event. It's the biggest community gathering about computer graphics. Then, uh, 2013, I moved to Berlin and launched Lixpad Studio, which was actually me and my ex-wife, and started to make so much projects and possible. So my idea was I never ask for money. I just do whatever I want fun for. And that way, in one year, we made around 70 projects. Uh, and uh, that's how I get known into community. Also, with huge support of Isabel, uh, who gave me the first big client in Germany, who was Herr Christopher Bauder. Uh, then, uh, 2014, I started making touch designer online and offline courses. First one was in Istanbul, then online, then I was first doing a workshop for Mono Mango, actually. Thank you for this amazing venue as well. Then uh, 2015, I tried to organize touch designer meetup in Berlin, but it was literally five people coming. So then I gave up because of my private reasons, and uh, we are here. So then uh, 2020, because of COVID, I finally got time to realize the very old idea to merge Goudini and Touch Designer in one teaching process. And that's how the How to Touch course was launched. And 2021, it became bigger, so we are now like around five, six people working on the project for student support, backend, etc. So that's uh, like a bit of digits from the early stage of my teaching work in Russia, around 90% of my students later worked in big production houses like MPC, Veta Digital, etc. Several of my students launched a big studios, completely built their pipeline on Goudini. Uh, I was running like a mad person with laptop showing to everyone in Moscow that's how cool Goudini is until I meet touch designer. And then I continue doing the same. Uh, since I started, I teach personally more 2,000 people. Uh, around 220 artists participated How to Touch course. I made around 20 courses during uh, last 10 years, and I recorded alone more than 220 hours. Basically, that's the digits at some names from the first years of my education. You know some of them. And uh, basically, currently, how to touch is a eight-month course. 
with 114 hours of uh, very compact lessons with five time reworked uh, program. Uh, touching Goudini, Touch Designer, Substance Designer, Ableton Live, Bitwig, Unreal, Vex, GLSL, Python, uh, and a bit of other things. Okay, so then uh, in the time I started to make Touch Designer workshops, basically first I done Touch Designer Extreme. No one knows that Extreme was because of my extremely bad financial, financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> but in order to respect people who pay me, I real decided to make a program which will bring them to really intensively j jump into work and be able to produce ready projects in very short time. Oh, I don't see any movies playing. Okay, it doesn't matter. So basically, currently we have free, uh, the series of free uh, courses. It's Touch Designer Extreme 101, 102, and Goudini Extreme, which is a good kickstart for anyone. Then I started to make uh, the series 200, which is about all practical examples. So my idea was in that time to make one platform where any of Touch Designer person can come and uh, learn everything what they need to work. So, so much I can do alone, then I started to hire other p people to fulfill my uh, holes in education. So I will not stop too long on these all courses. Now we have uh, seven courses on the website and three courses uh, and two other courses are on the way. It's uh, Kinect, basically it's depth sensors and white sense and uh, infographics and data visualization. So then the series 300 is about programming. It's more advanced. So here we have a 2D GLSL course about generative textures and post-processing. SOP and GPU, I think you know. Uh, then one geometry tools with script SOP, which is a like, uh, good way to learn the geometry concept and uh, good switch between uh, Python and GLSL because the idea is still the same. And uh, Hugo Liberté uh, from Montreal made for me the C++ chops course a while ago. Then I finally jump into the actually how to touch. I position that like being a media ninja who can solve any kind of work. I mean, that's uh, not too much super advanced topics, but we have two, three parts of the course. First part is a kind of crash start where we uh, go all through both Touch Designer and Goudini in parallel, research differences and similarities. Then we uh, concentrate more on Touch Designer to achieve more success and dopamine happiness for uh, people to realize something practical and already touching kind of uh, doing media server stuff and uh, very complex topics as well. It's also a Python inside. And then we dive into geometry concept. Second uh, block is about procedural modeling and simulation, also including rendering. Uh, it's like a bunch of topics, mostly for Goudini, but for touch designer as well. So we switch the separation of time. And the third block is um, kind of, I call it pipeline and workflows. Basically, we have a big block about system architecture, inter, 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 interoperability, uh, working with uh, digital assets, both in Touch Designer and Goudini, modular concepts, etc. Then we have uh, Kinect course. I mean, it's like almost like a separate course. Data visualization, audiovisual setups with uh, analog stuff, and Ableton and Bitwig. And currently, I'm finishing developing the Unreal part. So I still have one minute, so I can play back that movie which is actually the small showreel of my course. And yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs>